sound like a broken record, but this is important information. COVID-19 cases are continuing to climb in Knox County. Well, here is the latest data from the Knox County Health Department. Four new deaths have been reported since last Thursday. August, in fact, has been the deadliest month for COVID since March, and the month isn't even over yet. Also, active cases have increased by nearly 50% since Thursday, and Knox County's positivity rate is back above 20%. Six on your side, reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us now here in the studio. So, Kirsty, with the rise in cases, there are a lot more people now to contact Trace. Yes, that's right. And leaders at the Knox County Health Department say there is a lag notifying people who might have been exposed. They weren't able to give me a specific lag time, but they say they've added more resources to try and help the process go a little more quickly so the right people are going into quarantine. The spike in COVID-19 cases we're seeing now isn't like the surges we've seen before. You know, it's a much rapid, more a more rapid increase than what we saw this time last year, but that also has to deal with the variant. Roberta Sturm, KCHD's new communicable and environmental and emergency prep director, says right now the spread isn't necessarily specific to schools. I would have to say that in any situation where people come together and gather, the virus has a, a greater opportunity to spread, um, to, to spread among the population. To deal with the influx of cases last year, KCHD hired more contact tracers. They're doing the same this time around. So we scaled back um, in June when our case counts uh, were um, decreased significantly. Um, and thankfully, a lot of those individuals we were able to bring back on board um, to help with contact tracing. Even with extra staff on site and help from the state with contact tracing, Sturm says there is a delay. But they're finding new ways to make the process go faster and notify those who need to quarantine. We also use a um, platform that helps send out information via text message that may send a survey link. Um, so if you see a survey link from the health department, it sends you directly to our interview form and that's something you can fill out yourself and you don't have to wait on a call from us. The contact tracing process still takes some time. So Sturm says if you know you're positive for COVID-19, just go ahead and let your close contacts know. They're going to have their test results sometimes before they even leave a doctor's office, sometimes within 24 hours. So when they have that test result, they're going to see that much quicker than public health can. And KCHD has notified more people, uh, noticed more people taking at-home COVID-19 tests, especially since they're more readily available these days. Those are fine, but if you don't tell the health department you tested positive at home, they won't know. Therefore, others might not be contacted as a possible exposure. So if you test positive at home, you can call the health department at 865-215-5555 to let them know. Bo. All right, Kirsty, thank you. And one good trend the health department is seeing right now, they say more people have been getting vaccinated since July 1st, and they hope to see even more vaccinations with Pfizer now getting full FDA approval. Well, stepping back to give you an idea now of how the virus is spreading across Tennessee, this really tells the story. Take a look at this point right here. More than 9,800 new COVID cases were reported on Saturday alone. Look at that big spike. That's only the seventh time that Tennessee has ever logged more than 9,000 new cases in one day. And we're just hearing in the last few minutes that East Tennessee Children's Hospital has been busier with COVID than at any other time during the pandemic. That is according to the hospital's chief medical doctor, Dr. Joe Childs, in a video just posted. He says that children started the day with nine COVID patients. They've had as many as 14 at one time, up to five in the ICU and four patients on a ventilator. Today, the ICU number is one patient. Still, child says that COVID-19 generally doesn't tend to make kids very sick, but what they're seeing right now is a sign of just how many kids have the virus. We posted the full update video from the hospital with advice to parents at WATE.com. Just be sure to look under six things to go.